Hi my beautiful friends, how are you doing? It's Mimi here today and today's video is actually going to be me sharing with you some of my personal tips on how to shop and how to make the whole shopping for clothes and accessories an easier experience. Um, I don't know, some of you know and some of you don't know that in my previous background, back in the day, I used to be a fashion stylist and an image consultant so I would help people shop for clothes. and. Um, of course, through that experience, I've learned a lot and you know, I've helped people build a really good wardrobe that kind of goes with their image and their whole you know, personality and everything. So today I'm going to be sharing the same tips I would share with people, let's say, on a first meeting. And also these are the tips I personally use when I go shopping to make my life easier because I know shopping can be overwhelming, confusing, time consuming with all these options and all these stores and now online you know there's so many different websites so these tips are gonna help you out so let's begin tip number one before you actually go shopping sit down and make a list of everything you need to buy that's probably one of the most important steps of the shopping process is it's almost like before going grocery shopping I, I mean this applies to grocery shopping too if you're in a store and you're hungry you're gonna buy anything, you know that, because you're just hungry and you'll grab anything just to kind of satisfy the hunger. Same with clothing and accessories. If you feel like you have nothing, so you feel hungry, like I have nothing to wear, and you go to a store, you're gonna grab things you don't need, you're gonna just grab a whole bunch of junk, and when you get home, you might end up with a lot of things you don't need or a lot of things you already have in your wardrobe. So before you go shopping, get inspired, you know, go on Pinterest, watch some YouTube videos, Go through some you know fashion magazines and look at the things you like and look at the things you want to have and things that you don't have in your wardrobe already and make a list and be very descriptive so let's say you saw a picture and the girl was wearing a yellow dress so you say to buy yellow dress ruffles you know so kind of give yourself tips shorts studded you know white dress shirt I don't know whatever it is and be as detailed as you want because what that will do to your brain when you're shopping is actually subconsciously you're gonna end up seeing the stuff you're looking for like this works miracles so before you go shopping make sure to make it to buy list the second most important tip when shopping is to only buy your color now this might be a little confusing to some of you because Personally, before I took image consulting in school, I had no idea about color analysis and colors. The whole you know, image consulting world opened my eyes. And to make it easier for you guys to understand if you don't know what color analysis is, is there's four seasons, so there's winter, summer, spring, fall. And every single one of us falls into a category of colors. So when somebody says, I can never wear green, it's not that they can never wear green, it's that there's the certain types of shades of green that they can wear. But bottom line is that we can wear any color in a color palette, so in the rainbow palette. The only thing that matters is that it has to be in the season that works for you. So for personally, I'm a winter. And as you can see today, I'm wearing like a nice, deep, saturated royal blue. So really saturated, bright colors really work for my complexion. Now, somebody who is more um, like Alex, for example, my husband Alex, who is more like a fair skin and blue eyes, He's a summer, so if he wears this color, it's gonna overpower, it's gonna look too strong on him, it's just not gonna work. So having a color analysis done for you is extremely important, I can't stress enough. It's something that is, is, could cost you anywhere from 100 bucks to maybe two, three hundred dollars, depending on where in the world you live. Um, and it's something that can be done by an image consultant or something you can research yourself. But I think the easiest thing really is when somebody performs the color analysis on you. It's so easy to understand it. You just see it in the mirror. It's a really cool process too. It's a really good gift to give to somebody. Once you understand your color palette, shopping for clothes, guys, is so much easier. When I'm in the store and I just look at a whole bunch of things that are on a display, I instantly kind of block out everything else so like in a way you have less choices but that makes shopping a lot easier so when I see my color I instantly go okay this shirt is in my color now let me see if I like the cut and the fabric and all those other things so color analysis is extremely important I've been thinking of ways to do a video about it personally I think of course the most effective way is still to get it done on yourself and to see it you know firsthand but I'll try to cover it in a video and kind of explain the basics for some of you it could be a lot helpful if you can get a color analysis done so yeah know your colors and shop only the color palette that works for you 
Tip number three is assess the quality of the garment or the accessory you're buying. So now that you've determined that you like this thing or this accessory or this garment, this dress, you know the color works for you, you have to look at the little details and figure out if it's worth buying this garment for the price that it sells. So you want to look at things like stitching, fit, fabric, you know, you want to make sure that you are investing in a good quality product and this is something that's going to last you more than a season. The biggest misconception is buying cheap clothes and thinking, oh my god, I'm saving so much money. You're not saving money because in the long run, you're going to need this cardigan again. You're going to need a black skirt again. You're going to need another pair of jeans again. So you, in the long run, you're going to spend more if you're buying cheaper clothes. And when I say buy better quality, I don't mean for you to go and buy designer clothes because sometimes it could be something in the middle that really is a good quality and is a pretty decent price. I had this funny story that happened to me a few years ago when I was doing image consulting. I had this fashion presentation I had to do and I, you know, I wanted to look my best so I, I said I'm gonna buy this expensive skirt and I bought this really beautiful pencil skirt. I'm not gonna name from where or should I? Anyways, it was from Club Monaco. So I bought this beautiful pencil skirt I didn't really look at the details because back then I wasn't aware of all these things. I was just starting out in image consulting. And you know, here I am in the morning, all dressed up, getting out of the car. I get up and I hear, Shh. I'm like, is this what I think it is? I look at my skirt and it ripped right in the middle of my bum. So imagine me, like I have to go live in like half an hour. Thank God Layla was there and she was dressed really nicely. We went into the washroom, quickly changed. I mean. It wasn't as great as I wanted it to be, but it worked and nobody obviously knew. I think I actually told the story later in the presentation, but here just to show you that if you don't pay attention at the stitching and at all these things that make up a garment, you can end up spending a lot of money for clothes that actually are not a good quality. So just because something is designer doesn't mean it's a good quality. So you need to train your eye to know how to assess whether something is good quality or not. And the last and most important tip that I tell to all my friends and I used to tell to my clients and I tell to myself all the time, once you picked up that dress, shirt, whatever it is, try it on. You must try it on whether in the store or at home before you take the tag off, you know, because then it's too late to return it. So try it on and ask yourself one question. Do I love it? You have to love it. Like if you don't love it, don't lie to yourself. If you don't love it now, you're not going to love it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. You have to love it. Like so ask yourself questions. How do I feel in it? Do I feel confident? Do I feel beautiful? You know, do I feel comfortable? You have to feel all those things. If you don't, you should just go and return it. Like straight up, don't lie to yourself. Don't waste your money. If you, you have to love what you're buying. If you don't love it, do not buy it. So like, that's the basic tip. That's the, if you don't remember one thing from this video, it's if you don't love it, don't buy it. So that's really it guys. These are the tips I personally use when I shop. This is what keeps my wardrobe very functional versatile and also keeps it kind of small which I like. I like a small wardrobe that I can mix up. So use these tips. Let me know if you have any other tips that you use when you go shopping. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!